my good people are welcome now now welcome to another Ogbonge let's go we carry come today I did hello I did fine and I hope say everybody did fine today video now about how to make our tube top <coughs> booster tube top now we want to learn how to make so if we're not ready make we start the first thing what we're going to do we want to use this our bodies our basic body stick and um, draft up so the first thing what we're going to do now to outline the measurement where we need the measurement where we need for this uh, bustier first of all if you use your bodies now shoulder measurements bust measurements uh, under bust measurements and the waist measurements and hip measurements depend on the length of the bodies then on for the we also need the armhole measurement that is the bust divided by six plus one and a half inch then the first thing what we do now to um indicate the shoulder measurement from the shoulder to the bust measurement shoulder to the under bust measurement then shoulder to the waist measurement so make i just indicate them um, this one at the bust line this now the under bust line this now the waist line and this now the chest line so the first thing what we do we come <coughs> Um, insert our dart. So to insert the dart, we divide our bust separation, that is the nipple to nipple measurement by two and then four. Now we get so we mark them here. The next thing we want to do now, now to indicate the radius of the bust. So to indicate the radius of the bust, now the distance between the bust line and the under bust line. So for this pattern, are three inches. So I will just come up here. I will mark three inches. Go up. I will just mark three inches. It will indicate that here three inches up. Then the next thing I want to do, I will come for the shoulder line. I will divide the shoulder. I will measure the shoulder. Then I will divide them into two. Then I will find the midpoint. Then connect them to this point here. So I will connect them back to the first line. So now, so so the next thing we want to do now to create the dart legs and to create the dart legs i will first start from the under bust so i will come from this bust line will come down by one inch i will go up for the bust line i will go up by one inch then from this one inch where i come down from, from this under bust i will take one inch for both sides so make i just take the one inch now one inch here one inch here then i will connect them with my curve ruler to the one inch where i come down for the under bust like so So the next thing where I want to do now, I think I just connect. I'm sorry. The next thing where I want to do now, now to also come the waistline, take one one inch for both sides. So one inch here and one inch here. The same thing for the length, body's length. Then I go take them here. Then I go draw straight line. So I'll come up for this. Um, this upper side you know say i say here now the radius of the bust that is from here to here so to get this radius if you get compass just use a ruler but if you don't get compass just use your tape measure just rotate them like this three inches round just rotate them three inches all round to get the radius of the bust so the next thing what we're gonna do now, me I don't want to rotate them around, but if you they're comfortable with that method, you feel use them. So the what me I want to do now go as I don't come up here by three inches, but I notice that the bust go too low if I use that three inches. So I will go, I will add one inch extra so that this bustier will get full coverage. Then I will come here for, for this side of the, the side towards the armpit, I will give them one and a half inches that is not saying that two inches there here so i will divide that two inches into two i will put the bigger part for this side then i will put half inch for this other side then i will connect the line back to this the dot back to this line so you see i'm then make sure say the line this line and this line they equal so here now three inches so this is three inches so the next thing we want to do now to come for this um, this side, the center front, give them the neckline where you want. So for this center front, I will go up from the bust line by three inches because I don't want to make it too low. Then I will give them this this curvy effect. Now so I want to make my own bustier day. So it depends on you. If you want to make your own day curve, get with hats like this, you are free. So now like this, I want to make my own shape day. Then you'll come this side. <coughs> You come this side, then you use your this armhole curve to connect them to the to the busts. Sorry, to the chest line like so. Now see, I'm, then now we won't create the side seam. To create the side seam, we go insert all the measurements. So this measurements now nine inches. Nine be the busts. Bust divided by four now thirty. Then bust now thirty six divided by four now nine. So this is nine plus this one inch that allowance ten. Then we go add one inch for sewing. The same thing for this for this uh, bust line 11 then here we we'll go uh, under bust now seven and a half inches that is 30 divided by 
four seven and a half inches plus this two inch that nine and a half inch plus one inch sewing allowance then the waist now 32 divided by four eight plus two inches so yeah and that allowance that is 10 plus one inch 11 then we'll measure the same thing for this part then we'll use our ruler connect everything together so now see i'm just ensure say everything connects well everything they blend everything make it day smooth so the next thing we're going to do now is to cut out our pattern. Now as you say, it's very simple, straightforward, and it's very beginner friendly. So before you cut out, just ensure say you blend out any edge where you still say they sharp. Like this part now, it go good make it get that curve effect. Then here too, just make sure say they then here. If you just come out, come up by either one inch, then just connect them. Just connect them to so to give them that curve effect for the side then you will cut <coughs> then cut out the dart Okay, so now the front be this, now the front pattern be this. Now, as you say, they're very simple. So now we won't cut the back of this our bodies. See, I'm, I can remove this one. We don't need. We not go put yoke, so no need for that one. So here is the front part. This now the center front. You go cut them on fold. This now center front. This now the side front. This one go there on fold. Okay, so this now the back bodies we will want to use for the back of the of the bustier. So the first thing what we need from this our basic bodies, we just you know insert the dart. So the dart I just come down from the chest line by one inch, extend the dart because the back dart they always stay longer than the front dart. Then the next thing where I come do, I insert the I just come down from the zip side because I want to make it get make the back day a bit lower than the front. So I come down from the chest line by one inch. So I don't insert the dart now. Then from this waistline, I go up by one inch and I connect them back into the waist, into the side seam. So this one now go help to eliminate the zip bulge. So now the only thing we need for this pattern be that. So now make the cuts. out your pattern so when you cut finish you can see say the um, the side back and the center back they shorter than the front the side sorry the side and that now because we come out that zip bulge from the from the waistline so now everything where they related to this our boost here then be this so if you now find this video useful I beg help me like share and subscribe tell your friends about this this our community this our channel where we just start now so that them too they will come come learn how to sew how to do you know take better thank you for watching subscribe and i'll see you for the next video bye bye